Dr. Carter Prince, you know, we, we, you know, how people treat with, treat one another um, and, and yeah, how, how important respect is, is, is obviously important to all of us. Um, what demands, and I say demands, right? So I'm using that word intentionally. What demands should we make uh, of our colleagues and um, coaches and administrators on campus uh, to reflect uh, us finding, feeling that respect is so important and so impactful and necessary on the campuses? What demands should we make of one another to ensure that that happens? Uh, I, you know, I, I don't really see it as a demand. I mean, as much as we want to sort of push that notion, I don't really see it as, as a demand and perhaps as the educator in me, because I think it's um, one in which we should educate others to understand, because at it, it, some foundational level, um, there is a disconnect or perhaps disagreement amongst definition of what, you know, respect is and of what race and racism are. Um, and so if we can begin to educate and, and begin to understand the definition and have a clear understanding of what that is and all be on the same page, then we can unfold not only the definitions, but we can begin to unfold the histories. We can unfold the lived experiences. We can utilize platforms like this, right, to set a standard um, and, and build a community. But we gotta be real, you know, sport is a microcosm, right, of society. And so it reflects the good and the bad. Um, it mirrors racism in many ways, sexism, homophobia, um, but as well as grace, right? As well as compassion and honor and dignity and respect. And so as coaches, I believe it's their responsibility to embody this role of educator, of, of trainer, of a, a teacher specialized in a skill set. As, as I'm going I'm to give Coach Page, uh, Dr. Page, because he just, you know, no. went to, gave us some schooling as I was taking copious notes <laughs> of all the same. But through this, this um, you know, mode of sport, um, we do learn a lot of life lessons we are learning daily about what we can take and what we can, can push ourselves to do. But in that, we're learning to communicate with others and, and, and get over some of those hurdles that we have in these particular spaces. So I think, you know, coaches set the, set the tone um, with, as it relates to their leadership, their instruction, and their embodiment of those values. Those ideals also should be heavily rooted in the mission, the goals, and the values of the organization as well. So ultimately we have an organization that fosters a culture of respect and sets that tone. 